Hello guys, Josh Plays here. Welcome back to another video of Outer Stella. In this video, I'm going to be going through an easy, easy way to farm bits as a solo player. Right, let's get into it. Don't mind me twerking on top of my uh, solar panel here. Right, let's get into it. So bits, if you don't know, if you haven't played this game before, bits are basically the currency in the game. So they're very similar to um, the scrap system in a uh, rust basically you farm farm the bits you need them to um, craft certain items but the majority of the time you need them for the crafting tree so if you go into the research bench or your research yeah your research bench here you've got all these uh, weapon suits and deployables they all need bits to be researched so it works in the same way as rust with the uh you've you got to learn you you got to learn all these but you need you need these resources here so in this video i'm going to go through an easy way to farm these bits so you can research pretty much everything in the game so first things first what you want to do is if you've got yourself a workbench already you want to craft yourself a recycler small so for that you need carbon wire circuit board and panel i've already got one in my inventory that i've already crafted so let's just go ahead and place this down and let's put it let's see trees are in my way so let's put it say there right that'll do okay so we've got the recycler down obviously with the recycler you need power as well i've got my power up here i've got th uh, three wind turbines and i've got a large solar panel up there but you can get away with using just one. That's an explosion over the other side of the map. Okay, so you can get away with just using a one so um, one wind turbine or one solar panel. They're pretty easy to get at the start of the game. So then, what you want to do is you want to go out and farm the breakable boxes. So let's head down here. Let's get out of my base. So basically what you want to do is find these points of interest here with the radiation or the towers or any monuments really and from these you can actually collect bits as well but I'll show you an easy way to actually get more bits in here so that's what you're looking for panels they're quite an easy um, quite a common drop in these boxes that's what you want to do you want to farm these panels get as many as you can there's another one another one oh, let's go up here see if there's any up here oh, let's kill these destroy these breakables yeah, I'd say these panels are probably the most common resource that's dropped out of these boxes so they're fairly easy to pick up some bits on the way there uh, so I've only got 39 bits from that farmer but I did get seven panels well, let's head back over to the base from a tree house right so basically what you want to do is you want to recycle these panels because they're so because they're so common you can you can get you could farm a lot of these in a very short period which will give you a lot of bits so even with one of them as you can see you 100% chance to get five bits from one panel and they also give you 80% chance of getting 20 metal as well which is pretty good All that's doing I have actually farmed up some earlier when I was, wasn't recording 
so uh, where's my panel box? Umbro. Yeah, so I've got what 20, 40, 60, 73 in here, which I farmed up. I think I've got them in what a couple of hours maybe. Probably less than that to be fair. I mean if you really really go around and hit the um, hit the breakables you can you can easily farm quite a bit of them. And then what I'm gonna do is just dump all of them in there. As you can see my bits so the bits are going up slowly. So it's just a really easy way of farming. I mean where I am, where my base is actually positioned, there's quite, there's quite a few of these um, places over there. I've got one over there, which we've got a couple of breakables over there. And there's a um, radiation bit down there. I've got this here. There's a big monument over there, which I could go farm. just a really um, really easy way especially if you're playing as a solo player and they have a lot of, a lot of squads around and you don't feel comfortable going to the big monuments especially when there's a lot of teams I think it's four max in the team you can have on this so it's four players in a team so that'll be contested so as a solo player I just find it easier to do it this way and that way at least you can research a lot of the love what's in the research bench have a look at it now, it's 55 at the minute. Yeah, so this should take a while. But as you can see, it goes up, so it's five bits. How many we've got here? So that's 100, 200, 300, 335, plus this one, 340. So I'm getting 340 scrap just from that there, plus that 65, 400 scrap, plus the 40 I found earlier. That's 440 scrap. Not bad. I mean, once you start getting to the, the high tier stuff, you will need more and more bits down here. So that's worth a hundred. I need two fifty for that. I need five for these. Then if you actually go to the, like, the suits, so this suit's one of the best suits in the game. You'll need five hundred bits for that. And same with the deployables. Got an. Um, an advanced workbench here which is 500 bits so it just gives you a little boost really especially when you're playing solo and then I've got some stored in there from the doing exactly the same thing just farming farming the, the breakables for them panels and then just recycling them I've got 464 there plus the what was it 500 that I had so I've got the 900 nearly a thousand bits there which is pretty good see how we're getting on with this yeah I see about 100 bits already away uh, pistol chassis they're pretty good for um, recycling as well I think you actually get I think is it 15 bits from them was it 10 10 or 15 anyways but they're pretty good but they're a bit more um, they're a bit rarer to find as you can see I've only got 12 here I've used quite a bit I've, um, you do need them to craft the pistols so yeah so I did use quite a bit of them but they're pretty good, but they're not as common as the panels. I'll probably say the easiest way is the panel. Just for how common they are. Engine 30 is quite slow. I know there is a big recycler in this as well at a monument. Um, I haven't actually been there yet. I think that might be quicker. I'm not sure it's quicker. I know it's got more. Does it? I don't know. It might be. It might be. Might have more inventory. It might be quicker. I'm not sure. I haven't been there. And then there's a risk if you're taking all them panels. There's a risk of other teams being there. At least you could do this in the safety of your own base. Oh, 
Oh, well, that's recycling, I think. Oh, right, let's put these. Let's put these away, plastic away, put the wires away. Put bits back in there. Right, let's go hit some of the. Um, let's go find some more breakables, I think. Grab some more panels, just to show you how easy and how quite uh, common they are to find these panels. I think the respawn rate on this is quite high as well, so give it another what five, ten minutes maybe. Another ten minutes, they'll probably respawn. And you can go and do the same thing over and over again. Let's head over to this area here. There's another panel. Another panel. That's two I found already. Oh, it's head over here. It's quite a big base over there, actually. Today, we'll pay that visit later on. See, I've already got five panels just for that one run. That's an easy 25 bits already. I'll go have a look at the space over here, see what's going on. Raided. Raided already. Asleep. Nothing in there though. Right, let's get these bits back then. Yeah, so I've just got another five panels, that's an easy easy 25 bits. What five minutes work? Yeah, you can just keep doing this, just keep stacking them up and then they do add up, they stack in, um, they stack up in 20s, so get 20, that's 100 bits, easy. Right, let's go pop these back into the recycler. Right, Yeah, so it's come along nicely, 255 bits for all that. And 820 metal as well, which is pretty good. So let's pop them with the five into there. Plus that 45. That's 310 so far. That's stacking up nicely. All right, let's put my um, inventory away. Go get some more metal nodes, I think. Got enough metal, but I need some aura really. I 
2020. There's another no nice little um, easy way as a solo to collect aura actually as well. I'll be doing another video on that soon. About having to do the um, extract the jellyfish, which is always contested by squads. As a solo player, it just comes in handy. Yes, yeah, these are respawned already. Let's go and loot these, get some more. Components. Get some of these actually. Get some spiky chunks. Recycle them. Sap. You need for meds. Oh, let's get some stone or wine here. Uh, metal or sorry. You can have, a, have enough, have enough metal. Yeah, my base is fully upgraded to metal at the minute. If you did watch my last video, about me showing you around the treehouse build that I've got over there, it's pretty cool. If you haven't, please go check it out. Let me know what you think. Yeah, it's upgraded now. To, oh, that's fully metal now. Got out of the way over here. I think I'm pretty safe from being raided so far. Oh, let's get this back. Start smelting this metal. Yeah, look at that, 420 bits. I've done 34 onto it. Um, we only got one panel for that run. <clears throat> Put that back in. So nine panels to go. And we're getting quite a bit of metal there as well. All right, let's start smelting this. Awesome power grids. Yeah, power grids looking, looking pretty good. Put that one on. Yeah, it's still plus nine, which is pretty good. Got that um, tier two furnace, uh, solar panel up there. Right, this stuff away, fiber away. We're flying through these, flying through these uh, bits at the minute. These panels. to go. I think next I'm going to do the advanced workbench I think so I need 500 for that so I'll have, I'll have more than enough for that. And then I'm going to work my way down this side of the tree. And suit as well. All that black exo suit so I'll probably go for that as well.
We'll wait for that. Do a bit twerking. What a view, eh? Oh, that should be the back then now, I think. Oh, let's go and have a look. See how many bits we made. Yeah, all done. It's 509 bits. There we go. Easy as that. And that should help, especially as a solo player, that should help you um, boost up the crafting tree or research tree. Take them out, put those chunks in. My metal back in there. And then, and bits onto there, so there you go. 1017 bits just from farming this way, which is pretty good as a solo. Right, let's spend these bits. So, what do I want? I want the advanced research bench. Let's research that one. Brood or bomb, we need 250 for that. But I also do want the exosuit as well. I ain't gonna have enough. But we can always just do the same thing farming away. Farm the breakables, get the panels. Job done. Well, let's research the crude aura bomb. And then, yeah, see, once you get to the higher tier stuff, like aura workbench, you need a thousand bits. So it's going to be a good way of getting that super fast. Yeah, let's research the ballistic ammo. Flamethrower. Right, research stim pack. Research a medipen. 42 left. I don't think I'm going to do anything apart from the shutters, but don't really need shutters because I'm in a tree. Or a light. I don't really need a light. A flashlight would have got that. Yeah, okay, that'll do for now. Put my bits back in there. Got a nice 42 bits left over. There we have it guys, so that's a nice easy way if you are playing solo on Altastella, that's a good way of uh, boosting your bits up to, um, to research all of the um, the items in the research bench. Really fast easy way, especially with the respawns of how quick they are, I don't know if they, got enough, they are going to nerf that at some point, but for now it's a really good way of uh, leveling up the research. And I think that will do for this video. And I'll uh, thank you for watching guys, if you like the video please like and subscribe, any comments about the game please, please leave them and I will get back to you. And I'll see you in the next one.